My question is, and it again gets to this issue of whether or not the government, the state, is regulating properly. So if we say, and we have tonight, said that uranium was an event. So we know that it's it's considered an event and it's it's being decided upon in the context of the scoring that we're t doing tonight. And uranium is not a contaminant of concern in any of the state permits. So my question is simple to you as a representative now today of Rio Tinto. Should it be? Uranium was, is something for one that we've already said is in the background. Um, and this was said last night at the forum is that you'll see it nationwide at a level of approximately, this is average, of three parts per million. That's what you'll find in the ground anyway. So what we have is in a, actually in the what wastewater plant where we're concentrating any uranium that's pulled out of that mine site and out of that water, we have less than three parts per million. So just to give a little bit of a perspective on what we have, because it's part of the background, because there was no uranium, it was <coughs> below one part per million in our ore, and a little bit above that, I can't remember the exact number, um, in our development rock, it was not expected to be a contaminant of concern. And so the state will look at what do you expect, what do we want to monitor for, and uranium really was not something that was considered a problem. So is this event a non-event? I really think the, the level that we have, we have something that exceeds a drinking water standard in a sump that is there to contain water, which is then going through a water treatment plant. So I, I do, I think that we're doing everything we should be doing on the mine site to contain things like that. 